Hello everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you'll stay. Espero que te quedes. Hoy, as from the title, we're talking about eyes. Our eyes, our eyes, our eyes. So, there are lots of different meanings to the word ojo in Spanish. So today we're going to have a look at some of those uh, expressions and what they mean to me, to you, to everyone. But first of all, I'm going to go over, yeah, just some of the objects you might find around that mean I. So um, the first one, obviously everyone knows I, which is parte de tu cuerpo, okay? The part of, a part of your body, it's an organ it, that's on your body. Un ojo, an eye, that's the first meaning we know that because in year seven or even before year seven you've learned that you, i that's something that we know other meanings um for i um ah um ojo um, de la cerradura where you put the key in donde se mete la llave en la cerradura so you have una cerradura is a lock you have the lock um so the keyhole is also known as el ojo, okay? Um, another um, thing that's called el ojo is el agujero, so the hole of a needle, el agujero um, of a needle is also el ojo, okay? Lots and lots of meanings um, in Spanish to ojo. Uh, another curious one, which perhaps you don't know, is so you got, um, you get some water, you put oil in it. What happens? The oil just floats around. <laughs> so those little bubbles that you get, those are also called ojo. Okay, I bet you didn't know that one. I learned that one quite recently. So okay, let's start. Um, and I'm going to give you some expressions uh, to do with the word ojo. Let me know down below if you knew any of these, if, or if you know any that I did not mention in this video. Okay, let's begin. This one I really like. Sin pegar ojo. Sin, without, pegar, hit, ojo. Sin pegar ojo means you haven't been able to sleep the whole night through. So not being able to sleep, okay? So it literally means what it says. You haven't been able to close your eyes. No sleep at all. No he pegado ojo en toda la noche. So I haven't slept all night. I haven't been able to close my eyes. I just haven't been able to sleep. No he pegado ojo en toda la noche. Impossible. I couldn't do it. I didn't sleep. Echarle un ojo a. Echarle un ojo a. So, to keep an eye on. So, echarle un ojo a mi hijo. Vuelvo pronto. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> keep an eye on my son. I'll be back really soon. Horrible example, but it's a sentence. Echarle un ojo a, a la pizza. Que no, no quiero que se me queme. Keep an eye on the pizza. I don't want it to burn. Échale un ojo. La pizza. Tener ojo. Tener ojo. To have eyes. Well, we all have eyes. But you may not have a knack for something. It means to have knack. Have a knack for something. Tener ojo. Or to have an eye for something. I think we say that also. To have an eye for something. Um, tiene ojo para los negocios. He has an eye for business. He has a knack for business. Tener ojo. Costar un ojo de la cara. I love this one. Perhaps my favorite one on the list. Costar un ojo de la cara. If you translate that, to cost an eye from your face. You can imagine what that means. To cost 
an arm and a leg. It just means something's really expensive. Ah, no pude comprar ese ordenador, ordenador de más. Cuesta un ojo de la cara. So I wasn't able to buy that Mac computer because it cost an arm and a leg. I can't afford it. Andar con ojo. Andar con ojo. Watch your back. To watch your back. Anda con ojo. Anda con ojo. Que esta zona es peligrosa. So watch your back. That area is kind of that that area is dangerous. Anda con, con ojo. Watch your back. Ojo del huracán. <laughs> the eye of the hurricane. Es el centro de una situación conflictiva, una situación polémica. So it's when you're in a situation that's quite polemic, it's quite controversial, it's, quite, it's your center of detention, you know? Um, so an example, un ejemplo. Fallo, eh, dame una frase tú, eh, el te, que, tú te, que te gustan los deportes. Eh, Fallo... La canasta decisiva. Eh. Sí, por ejemplo... LeBron James falló, falló el triple decisivo y perdieron el partido y, y por eso está en el ojo del huracán esta semana. Porque sí. han perdido el partido porque no han metido la canasta. Yeah, so... Más o menos. <risa> sí, está Gracias. en el ojo del huracán. Sí. El ojo del huracán. Ahí lo tienes. This one is me. Um, comer con los ojos. To eat with your eyes. Comer con los ojos. Um, to eat with your eyes, um, what it says. So, uh, I'm a foodie. Me encanta comer. Me encanta la comida. Me encanta. Entonces, cuando veo las cosas, eh, quiero probar esto y esto y el otro. Y si tienen una presentación buena, pues mejor. Como con los ojos, con lo que veo, ¿no? Y, por ejemplo, muchas veces, sometimes I might see something that's very yummy, but because I eat with my eyes, Perhaps I won't try it because it doesn't look as though it's going to be delicious. Yeah? I eat with my eyes. Comer con los ojos. Just ojo. Simplemente ojo. Ojo. Como cuidado. Okay? What, watch out. You know, it's, be careful. Ojo. Ojo con lo que dices. Okay? Careful, careful what you say. Okay? It's like, be careful. Careful. Ten cuidado. Anda con cuidado. Ojo. Ojo. It's like a warning. Careful. Ojo. Brillar. I don't know what happened with my tongue. Brillar. Brillarle a alguien los ojos. Brillarle a alguien los ojos. I can't speak, guys. Why does this happen to me all the time? My tongue gets twisted. Brillarle a alguien los ojos. It means. Eh, to be jolly y lleno de vida. Um, yeah. ¿Otra explicación tienes tú? Sí, emocionarse. Le brillaban los ojos. Es, está yeah. emocionado. Sí, sí, sí. Estar alegre y vivo. Ya, yeah, brillarle los ojos. Tener esa alegría en tu cuerpo. Brillarte los ojos. Los ojos te brillan. ¿Ok? Andar alguien con 100 ojos. So, walk with a hundred eyes I think that's quite self-explanatory um, just means again to be estar muy pendiente y tener mucho cuidado en cualquier situación okay andar con cien ojos so if you if you're walking around with a hundred eyes it's telling you something and so yeah that's the last one and I hope to see you again soon and please do not hesitate Share with us if you know one that I have not mentioned because I'm sure there are so many more. I love these kind of videos. I love to learn new expressions, new um, ways of expressing you oneself. And so if you're from another Spanish speaking place and you use another expression that I have not mentioned, please share. This is our corner, nuestro rincón para aprender cosas. Así que comparte, comparte, comparte. And until next time. Adiós.